Hey guys, this is Jeremy with Gamertel.com. I know a lot of people have been waiting for the new Xbox Live dashboard update that was supposed to come out in the morning on December the 6th, but due to things that we probably will never ever know, uh, Microsoft pushed it back until late, late, late that evening. Uh, so hopefully by the time you look at this video, the update would have already made its way to you. So what I decided to do was just take a little bit of time and show you the new Netflix application that's coming along with the Xbox Live dashboard update just in case you have not gotten it yet. And there are a couple major changes with this Netflix app. And I'm just going to show you what they are. Now, the first thing that you're going to notice is that the entire user interface has been redesigned, just like the dashboard. But unlike the dashboard, um, Netflix is not using the Metro user interface that Microsoft put on the dashboard and also put into Windows Phone 7 and uh, Windows 8. Uh, this is just what I what I like to refer to as a almost like a movie theater type user interface because you have the very back row that sits up high, you got the middle row that's a little bit beneath the back row, and then you have the front row which is front and center. So uh, it shows you, uh, it doesn't necessarily show you more than what the last Netflix, Netflix app did, but is something different and you know, why not? Other change uh, with this app is when you bring your cursor over uh, a film or anything at all and you hold it for a bit you get a screenshot cool yeah I guess yeah why not but that's not the most interesting thing about this uh, about this new Netflix app this is something that I think could be useful for uh, a lot of people and for some they may not care so let's just say I wanted to watch the first Rocky movie and then I press A to play it and it shows you a little screen from the movie and it starts playing instantly it starts playing almost instantly but you can also press down on your Xbox Live remote uh, controller rather and you can choose to rate it you can read about the read about the movie a brief description you can move it over to the right see similar movies and you can play one of those similar movies right here so if I said I don't want to watch Rocky I want to watch White Dog right there without ever having to go back to the main screen or go back to my instant queue or, or whatever I can start watching another movie and as the same thing, you know, you got similar movies with a brief description of them. You can rate this or just read a brief description about what you're currently watching. So that's something that's new. That's something that's pretty neat. And you just back out of it using B just like you would any other application. Now, if you wanted to watch a television show and you're wondering, well, what if I want to watch a episode from a certain season? I don't want it to just start up instantly. Well, what, what, what do I do in that case? Well, I'm going to show you using a television show. So let's just move up to something. Uh, OK, yeah, let's just start with uh, American Picker since that's something that's episodic. Now, if I just click on it like this, it's going to start playing but there's another option at the bottom here that says more episodes so when I click on that it shows me what seasons Netflix has and I can move in between season one and season two and then I can choose which episode I want to view and I get an idea of what that episode is about based on the description at the bottom so if I wanted to watch you know Frank flips from season two instead of the episode I was just watching there you go and uh, you can also check out the uh, subtitles and the audio options if they are available so I can turn on English closed captioning and there you go there's the closed captioning there uh, let me just turn that off or none and just back out of that. Uh, next thing I'm going to show you is search. I think that search is uh, pretty much 
unchanged. I can't remember if the search bar was at the top or if it was on the side in the last app, but it looks just like Bing search from the Xbox Live dashboard. And uh, if you have Connect, uh, I'm, I'm fairly certain that you can just use Connect to search if you wanted to. But if not, you would just have to choose, uh, you just have to enter it manually. So if I want to see that new uh, Conan O'Brien documentary, you know, I'll just press C and O and it's, whoops, that's in. O, it's a little laggy right now for some reason. And the um, auto prediction is uh, going to come up at the bottom and then there you go Conan O'Brien can't stop and I can put that in my instant queue if I want to or I can play it right there and oh no I do not want to exit yeah so those are the major changes with the Netflix app for Xbox Live and uh, just so you know um, in order to use this you do have to be an Xbox Live gold member and if you aren't if you're a free member on the dashboard there should be maybe um, a promotional offer to get one month of Xbox Live for a dollar so if you got a dollar to spare just go ahead and put in your payment information Microsoft will take a dollar from you and then you'll get a month of Xbox Live and you'll be able to check out all the video content that's going to be coming down the line uh, throughout the month though I recommend you Disable the auto renew so you won't be charged $9.99 in January because um, the month by month is not the way to go. You might as well just buy a year or buy three months. So that's just my little uh, my advice there. And uh, before I close this video out, some people who saw my last video about the Xbox Live dashboard update wanted to know what the uh, guide looked like when you press the Xbox button in the middle of the controller. And here you go. It's exactly the same absolutely nothing has changed so that's one thing that was carried over from uh, the last um, dashboard so yeah there you go new Netflix on Xbox Live is going to be coming with the Xbox Live dashboard update hopefully you have it now but if you don't just be patient hopefully you'll have it within the next day or so so until next time I'm Jeremy from GamerTel.com and I'll see you later